Hello everybody. My name is Çağdaş Allah verdi. Today we are going to make some brainstorming about the universe in which we live. Here is one of the important questions awaiting answer. Are there other intelligent life forms like us in the universe in which we live? If your answer to this question is no, there can be no such life forms. I would like to remind you that the number of the stars in the universe exceeds the number of the grains of sand on our earth. Considering the fact that the planets having life, like our world, must have a star, it's rather possible that the universe in which we live contains intelligent life forms other than us. In order to answer this question, physicist and businessman Yuri Milner started the Breakthrough Initiatives program in the year 2015. This program has a budget exceeding 200 million American dollars in total. In this project, the space will be listened with advanced telescopes, signals from extraterrestrial intelligent life forms will be collected they will be sent signals and planets they live on will be reached and such places will be imaged. The universe we live in is really huge and there are really many places we must look. At this point, the developments in the area of nanotechnology are becoming rather important. Thanks to developments in nanotechnology, we can build sufficiently light and durable spacecraft that can reach one-fifth of the speed of light. In the future, we will be able to build much faster spacecraft thanks to this technology. With my experimental study titled Creation of Stephen Hawking's universe with nanotechnology I would like to bring the power of nanotechnology to your houses and change your perspectives on space sciences and space engineering. Various aliens I have synthesized by using nanotechnology science based on the principles of physics and chemistry and their habitats, young stars on the moon start winking in the dark and dangerous mini planets. Here goes the universe in a nutshell. First, my bacteria-sized alien hunter I have photographed while wandering in a habitat of its own, two-armed two-legged, winged and tailed alien hunter, invisible to naked eye. We see that this alien is raising his right hand just like the lion figure in the Cambridge coat of arms. Another photograph shows another invisible to naked eye fish-like branchial alien hunter I have discovered while wandering underwater. The interstellar gas and dust in the universe create molecular clouds and in those molecular clouds young stars are generated. Here are molecular clouds and bright young stars in nanoscale. The universe is like a breathing living being that is everything in the universe is on the move. Molecular clouds and young stars on the move. 
you must have noticed that the stars in the sky blink continuously like a beacon in a night in which it's possible to see the sky completely clearly. Let me put the basic mechanism behind this physical phenomenon this way. Please imagine the pen in my hand as the light rays coming from the stars. These rays are refracted in our atmosphere, that is, they change their direction a little bit. When the light rays cannot reach our eyes due to these light direction changes, we see the darkness. When the light rays reach our eyes, we see the light. This process is repeated continuously in the order of light, darkness, light, darkness. In other words, stars blink us continuously. The next are nano-sized stars blinking at you. The rubble pile asteroids, which I have magnified from the zero to a few centimeters, constitute the last part of my study. I will show the great danger to our world created by rather fragile structures of such asteroids experimentally. In conclusion, I would like to remind you that the island countries like United Kingdom, Japan and Indonesia are among the most endangered countries to be continued.